I think there's only six of these monsters left in the world, nobody really knows how many big Valve X machines were ever built. 1915, 16, up through 1920, the Big X was really the star of the board tracks and dirt tracks around America. It really kicked butt, and you can see why. 61 cubic inches. I think it's got two and a quarter inch valves. That's where it gets its name. You know, I've started this bike probably 100 times for visitors here at Wheels Through Time, and it always amazes everybody the noise and the speed that this machine makes. I've actually raced this bike at Davenport two or three times, raced it at Wasion. What a bike it is. 61 cubic inches, no brakes, no clutch, truly an extreme machine. I would have to say it would be the super bike of its times. You know, the history of the Excelsior Super X is quite an interesting history. The Excelsior company actually started making bikes in Chicago in 1907. In 1911, Schwinn bought the company and moved right ahead building twin cylinder motorcycles. And by 1915, he developed the Big Valve X, truly the monster bike of its day. You know, the Excelsior racing team was nothing but the best. Ignis Schwinn made sure that he had the most talented riders in the country. Bob Perry, his favorite son, was actually killed on an overhead cam Excelsior. None of those bikes have ever turned up. But this machine, one of five or six existing, quite an interesting bike, an as-race patina. I really like the bird on the tank, shaped like an X. Don't know if they did that on purpose, but I would have to think that the bird and the shape of the X symbolizes the Super X company. You know, whenever I start a bike here at Wheels Through Time, it always attracts a crowd of people, and this noisy motorcycle always attracts a crowd of people. This bunch, where are you guys from? Chicago. Florida. Florida, uh, where? Florida. Florida. Welcome, guys. I'm going to crank this thing up one more time. Simple starting procedure. Turn the gas on. Advance the spark. Take the choke off because the bike's already warm. Decompress the engine. Should be ready to go. One more thing, a lot of people ask if I ever get worried about damage on these bikes, I always say no, but I can tell you one thing, if you ever broke apart on the big Valve X, you'd have a hard time finding it. We'll catch you a little later. Mm -hmm.